Hey everyone, my name is Keith from Keith White Photography. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based out of Whitby, Ontario, Canada. And this is my real deal review on the Westcott 59 inch. I've been using this bad boy for the past month or so and we're gonna explore all the different ways that this modifier is amazing. The more I use the Zeppelin, the faster the setup time is. I've even numbered the rods and their corresponding holes in the mounting bracket and that speeds up everything. I hear the unofficial time is 90 seconds and I'm getting pretty close. I have a number of examples to show you. In this shoot, we have a motorcyclist on a country road. In this setup, I'm looking for a sharp contrast look with crisp color saturation. Using just the modifier without any diffusion panels, I'm able to utilize full power of my strobe in high sync to darken the background and make the subject stand out. As the evening carried on, I then installed the diffusion panels to create a softer light for close-up portraits. In this next example using the Zeppelin, I'm shooting two subjects inside a local sports arena. When shooting Vanessa, I'm looking for a soft light. Using both the fusion panels and feathering the light, I'm able to achieve the light I'm looking for. For JT, I've removed the front panel. Using just the inner panel, I'm able to create a portrait with an awesome specular look while evenly lighting the subject. Our next shoot was awesome went to a local beach and this was complete guerrilla shooting. We had no idea what we were getting into. There's lots of people. I mean lots. So today, today I chose the Scarborough Bluffs. It's uh, about maybe half an hour's drive from uh, downtown Toronto. The reason why a lot of photographers like it is obviously you've got a couple of different elements. You've got some rocks, you've got lake, and then you've got what we call the bluffs. Now the bluffs this is probably the, one of the highest points in Lake Ontario where the bluffs are and because of the beach and everything else here it makes it a pretty hot spot for people that just want to swim, photo shoots and uh, midnight parties. So just a little bit what I shoot with. I shoot with a Canon 5D SR. For this particular setup I really wanted to crush the background out of focus. Uh, reason being is you know we've got people wandering around and things like that so um, just less distractions is, is better. So what I like to do is isolate my subject two ways. I use a 135 at f2. This blows the background right out of focus and with my ELB 400s I'm able to utilize high sync. High sync can take me anywhere from 1 200th to 1 8,000th of a second, depending on my ambient exposure. This works out really well for making a subject pop out of the background. Also, I'm using my 35 mil. My 35 mil Sigma is fantastic. You can really capture a lot of the background, having it a little bit out of focus, but still have a nice portrait of your subject. Our model Lee was fantastic total trooper. She brought so many different outfit changes. The shoot ended up going way longer than expected, but with fantastic results. The sun set in behind the bluffs and brought this beautiful pink sky. This is by far one of my favorite setups because of the beautiful soft light that it produces. I've used the Zeppelin on a couple of shoots now and I'm loving it. The build quality is great. The strong aluminum rods and the thick material hold the shape and make this modifier really durable. The assembly gets easier every time I use it. But what makes this modifier really special is the amount of ways that you can use it. So again, just to recap, here's some examples of just a Zeppelin with no diffusion. Here's some using the Zeppelin arm with the strobe pointed to the back of the modifier. Remember, using the Zeppelin arm you have the ability to focus the spread of your light onto your subjects. Here's some examples using the inner diffusion panel, which also has an extra stop of diffusion in the center to prevent hot spots. Here's some using both the inner and outer panels. So in this setup, you're going to get the softest light that this modifier can produce. 
So if you're looking for a quality modifier that provides multiple lighting setups, then I highly recommend the Westcott Zeppelin. I want to thank all my models and all the help that I've had to put this video together. And of course, FJ Westcott for the opportunity for your real deal review. Thanks.